I will admit, despite this adaptation being in development hell for roughly a decade, it was well worth the wait and completely stands alone from other adaptations of the property, mainly because of its stop-motion animation, the absolute detail, like, like the Count having a long pointy nose because he's also lying all the time, and small mannerisms of the characters and environments were seamless. I had many times completely forgot that this whole team had to rig this up and meticulously move everything centimeters to create this work of art. Another thing that makes this feel so unique is the time setting and events that Del Toro chose to feature. Ballsy is one way I'll describe it, especially the spotlight of the rise of fascism and government control, which is very much present still today. But it is also meaningful in multiple ways. Sure, it's an educational and lighter historical look at things, but also meshes well with the lessons Pinocchio needs to learn to become a real boy, become obedient in a sense but also learning to question the way things are, go against the status quo, and realize what is important to a person and how those relationships can be lifelong. I'm getting real sappy with things, but I gotta give Del Toro's Pinocchio a solid 9 out of 10. Like I said, everything is hitting those unique beats that were very much appreciated, differing itself from the pile of other Pinocchios out there, and hit the feels. A perfect blend of Del Toro's lighter horror elements, like things get dark, yeah, I'm not kidding you, Candlewick's father tries to have him shoot Pinocchio point blank, combined with the joyous, more light-hearted comedy. Like, I'm a sucker for a good fart song, don't get me wrong, so when Pinocchio was laying into Mussolini, I got a real kick out of its Terrence and Philip stylings. But there are a handful of other comedic moments that made me laugh, like the ship captain saluting Uriva Dochi right as they see the dogfish. The voice cast was spot on as well, really added a lot of personality. Christoph Waltz, mm, he was so good. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Del Toro's Pinocchio. Was the stop motion approach better than what anything the Mouse House has been shoveling out there? If you want something else to watch, be sure to check out some of our other cool videos. Thank you for your constant support. I've been Jared, and remember, do not lie. And with that, I'll say bye bye <laughs> All right, take care. Peace.